Hello, I'm going to be giving you another uh, homework probably within a few hours and I want to do an example that will help you with that homework. The example is a, just a made-up example. Uh, suppose a user wants to know how many multiples there are of one of, of, of numbers between two other numbers. So I want to know, if I put in 7 and 11, say, how many multiples of 7, 11, or both 7 and 11 are between, let's say, 1,000 and 2,000? Uh, and the more, uh, most important part about this is I want a nice, neat output. I want them in columns, and I want them... Uh, so many poor row, and I don't want jagged rows. Here's an example that I think might make this re understandable. I ran a program that said, give me all the multiples between 1,000 and 7,100, all the numbers there that are divisible by 56, 71, or both of them. So if you look, uh, I think 71 divides into 1,008. Uh, I have 7, 1, 71, 29, 8 is left over. And, uh, well, I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, something divides it, 56 or, or uh, 71. And... Notice that the endpoints are included. So 7100 is divisible and it's included. Now that doesn't look like an awfully odd problem, and it isn't. But you do have to know about IO manip in order to do it. I've already written the program, so I'll try to bring it out piece by piece rather than showing it all at once. You need the include file iomanip. iomanip has all the nice things necessary to make decent output. And uh, in this case, we're going to use set w, set the width to make that work. As usual, I have the using namespace standard, and then I have all the uh, various things I'm going to need for this. Uh, when you put things in quotes, you may ask me why I let this run off the side here without going to the next line. The point is never split something, uh, split the line inside the two quotes. You'll get all kinds of trouble. Uh, I had to, if I want all of that on one line, I can either, I have to do it that way. I can't put a, uh, enter right there, for example. So be careful of that. Now, there's my CN. I've noticed that some of you are not using that kind of form when you're inputting. If you're inputting two or three numbers, you'll put one on one line and then the next one on the next one and so on. You can put as many as you want. You separate them with the chevrons uh, or the double uh, uh, greater than signs or whatever you want to call them. Uh, they, they function very much like the comma in Python. So there's the input. I'm ready. I'm going to count how many there are. Because remember, I said in my rule over here that I want 12 per row. So I got to keep a count somehow so I can figure out how I can get 12 per row. So I set up the int. That's not surprising. I've started the lower number, and I go to the upper number, and I'm going to add one each time. And I'm going to ask myself, is it divisible by the first multiple? Or is it divisible by the second multiple? Again, notice the equal equals and the or sign. 
uh, in uh, this, as I think I said before in one video, the or is an inclusive or. That means if it's divisible by both mult 1 and mult 2, this will still be true. So I write it out. And the set W says that the value is to come out in six places with the number beginning on the extreme right of those six places, and I fill in with commas. If you look at the output, you'll see that I have uh, blank, blank, 1008, blank, blank, 1064, and so on and so on. So I get my separation easily this way, and I get them to line up properly. Now we have to figure out how to get that many on a line. Uh, guess what? The mod helps us again. I look at this and I say, when I printed 12 of them, I want a new line. When I printed 24 of them, I want a new line. When I printed 36 of them, I want a new line. When I printed 48 numbers, I want a new line. Well, all of those are multiples of 12. So if I'm counting how many I put out, I when I get to 12, I print out an, a, a new line. When I get to 24, I print out a new line. But multiples of 12, when I mod them with 12, I get a zero. So what I do over here is I add one to the count. Don't forget that little shortcut. That's count equal count plus one. And then I check to see if the count, if I print it out, a multiple of 12. Now the order is important there. I counted it before I checked it. So I have just output it the 12th one. Notice I started the count at zero. If I get a multiple of 12, then all I do is print out the end L. And that's it. Now, that ends the if. There's more in the if than one statement. There's the output, the increment of the count, and the other, oh, pardon me, I'm looking at the bigger if there. So the if with the vow has more in it. It has an if inside it. And of course, the for has an if inside it. But uh, I want to make sure I get an end of the line at the end of the whole thing. So I print out end L. Now I added a little something to this problem. I added that if there are no such uh, uh, numbers, I'll put no multiples. Well, when I get to here, think about how I tell if I had no multiples. Some variable has a particular value. That means I didn't find any. Remember, I started count at zero. So, and the only place I increment the count is when I find a multiple. So if count is still zero, I don't have any multiples. So that's the quick check. If it's zero, print no multiples. And that's it. Now let's test this with something that will give us no multiples. Let's go, let's see, I got to do the two things to divide into it first. So I will take uh, 300 and uh, 500. And my multiples will be, uh, the, the, the area I'll look at is 700 to 9.99. Now, oh no, that won't work. 8.99. 
Now, the multiples of 300, there's a 600, that's not in that range. And a 900, that's not in that range. Multiples of 500, there's a 500, it's not in there. There's a 1,000, it's not in there. So I should get nothing. I get no multiples. Now I'm going to put this program out. In fact, what I'll do is I'll copy it right now into this page here. And I'll put this one out for you. And I'll also put the video out. And hopefully within a very short amount of time, you should get a homework that will have you do this kind of thing. Uh, it won't be awfully hard, but I will put it out soon. Okay, and all I can say is uh, have a good weekend, and we'll see you later. Bye now.